What's up, guys? Hope you're doing well today. Welcome to the Feta Effect. Every Friday, 11.30 Alaska time. It's AKDT. I don't know what the D stands for, but we talk about how you can make money. We talk about how you're going to keep money. We talk about how to multiply money. And we do all these things so that you can build wealth. And the reason we build wealth is so you can create a life by design. And the reason you need to create a life by design is so that you can own your potential. So if you're just joining, go ahead and share this stream, please. Um, if you like it, the like button's here. The share button's right next to it. It takes the same effort. Thank you for the likes. I love it. Um, I want to see some hearts and wow faces today. And we might even see some angry faces. So again, I'm Jerry. I own WealthX. We help our clients make money, keep money, multiply money. And the reason is, is I care about your potential as a human being. I think you're capable of great things. I think you're capable of, of power. Garrett hearts this. Thank you, Garrett. I think you're capable of power. And I think that if we unlock that, you're going to help a lot more people than you're going to help if you just you know continue life like you're doing it right now, right? So we're talking today about Beamers and B, or Beamers, BMWs, right? And bumper stickers, Okay, I know that that sounds like it has nothing to do with money, but I'm going to tie this all together. Just watch. So if you're just joining, thank you, Jen Dorgan. Thanks for coming in. Lexi, thanks for watching. Go ahead and like and share this. If you see something here, please comment. Um, I love I love it. Thank you for the likes. likes. I'm going to get started, though. So I own WealthX, right? I started my business about three years ago. And when I first got started, um, you know, we didn't start rich. We started with a few hundred dollars in the bank. We started in the living room. We started with just the desire to become free, right? And it was never about money for me. It's always been about options and freedom. And really, money buys time. And I know that I can do great things with my time. And so that's why I wanted to get into business is A, I wanted to help myself do that. And B, I wanted to help other people do that because it's not going to be any fun if I get to the top of the mountain and I'm all there by myself, right? So probably a, a, a year and a half ago, a year and a half ago, I bought a bumper, or I bought a wristband actually, and I'm actually wearing it today. I bought this wristband. Okay, it says, Success is my duty, right? Success is my duty. And it was the first time I'd, I'd actually like got that phrase and understood what it meant. I love the hearts. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. That was the first time I understood what that phrase meant, right? So I don't know if you're like me, but prior to that, when I thought of success, it was almost like luck. Right? And I think I adapted this from playing basketball. Right? You'd shoot the ball and you hope it goes in. That's kind of how I viewed success. Like, oh, I hope I succeed. You know, I hope that there's a chance that the ball goes in the hoop. Right? And that was almost like an irresponsible view of success. Right? It wasn't my cause. It wasn't up to me. There was some sort of unknown force that was going to determine my success. And I don't want to go on a bunny trail, but the worst part is at the time I blamed God. I thought God was responsible for my success. He's got better things to do with his time, right? My, my success is my cause, my responsibility. And so I didn't see it like that. So I got this bumper sticker about a year later. And the bumper sticker also said, success is my duty. Okay? So I have these two bumper stickers, right? I have one that says, success is my duty, just like my wristband. And I have one that says, obsessed, right? You can actually see there's one right there on the desk. So I have that bumper sticker, right? So... As I started learning more and more and more, I started realizing like I had to change my thinking, right? And this is a trend that most of us go through when we start wanting to be successful, we start changing stuff about our, about ourselves and that usually starts with our thinking, right? We you know, we used to think negative, we used to hang out with negative people, and now we start trying to think about better things and more positive things, right? We used to think about what could go wrong and now we try not to. And I've seen this like physical change in people um, with their thoughts are almost like tangible. You can see them. You can see people making that change when they decide like, you know, hey, I'm going to lose weight. They also start thinking of more positive things. When they decide, hey, I'm going to increase my income or hey, I'm going to tackle this debt. They also start thinking more positive things, right? So this, this, this wristband that I had, I actually got two of them on today. This wristband that I had was my first stance, right? It was my first flag in the ground that said, hey, I'm changing my thinking. I'm going to make it tangible. I'm going to put it on my wrist so that I see it every single day. Same with the obsessed one, right? And that translated into me later buying some bumper stickers. Now, I didn't put them on my vehicle at the time because I didn't want to put them on that car. That was not my car, right? It was the car I was driving, but that was not my car, right? I had a Kia Soul. We still have it. We rent it out now. But at the time, that was my car. And when I bought it, it was a poverty move. I looked at what's the lowest payment I can get. 
you know, I'm gonna get the most base model I can find. Like this thing doesn't even have an auto lock, okay? So for like a year, I was stuck with my poverty move and I would have to deal with it every time I got in my car and click, click, right? Like it got to the point where it just drove me nuts. Every time I opened the car door, click, and I would have to unlock it manually, right? So I did not put the bumper stickers on that car at all. Now, the reason I'm talking about bumper stickers is because for me, that was symbolic. And it's the same thing that you're going to have to go through. Maybe it's not going to be bumper stickers, but it's going to have to be something, right? So when you take your stance and you look at your life and you say, I love life, don't get me wrong, but this is not the one I wanted. This is not how I wanted to live. I don't want to wake up scared to death every day. I don't want to be here in Alaska. We just got PFDs, permanent fund dividends. It's a thousand dollar coupon that the state of Alaska bribes you with to live here. And people freaking, they freak out when they get it. Like life just changed because they got a thousand dollars in their bank account, right? That's not a condition to stay in. That's un, that's not safe. It's not healthy. So when you look at your life and you say, Hey, this, this, I love life, but this is not what I want. And I want it to improve. You're going to have to take a stand and it's going to start with your thoughts, right? So I talked a couple of days ago about this analogy. Um, and it's, it's essentially um, from, a, from a system, it's called be, do, have, right? And so basically anything that you want to achieve in life, if I'm looking at my life and I'm saying, man, I'm tired of getting excited about $1,000, I'm tired of waking up terrified, I'm tired of knowing that if I lose my income for six weeks, my family is screwed, I'm tired of worrying about my health, I'm tired of wondering how I'm going to pay the deductible on my health insurance if I ever go to the hospital, I'm tired of all that stuff right? And you say, I'm going to make a change. And the change I'm going to make is going to be, I'm going to take control of my life. I'm going to take responsibility for my life and I'm going to start causing it to be the way I want it to be. You're going to have to put a flag in the ground, okay? Because you're saying, I'm going to change my state of being, right? You can't just start doing different actions. We've talked about this. If you have done it this way all your life, it's because this um, acronym, S-T-F-A-R, your spirit creates your thoughts, which creates your feelings, which creates your actions, which, cre or which um, creates your reactions, which then justifies your thoughts and the whole cycle repeats, right? So if you're isolating it out and you say, hey, I'm just gonna do the actions, right? I used to do the wrong actions and now I'm gonna start doing the right actions. You have not handled your thinking and your being, the, your state of being, right? And so that's the equivalent of taking someone that is addicted to cocaine, I saw him this morning. He was standing on the side of Benson talking to himself, taking that guy and just telling him, hey, why don't you just quit? Like, do you think he's never had that thought before? You have, and, and same with you. Like this, this life that you're looking at saying, I want to change, you've tried to quit it hundreds of times. You've tried to change. You've tried to you know, do the New Year's resolution. You've tried to change your goals. You've tried to do the new workout program. You've tried to do the 21-day fix, and it didn't work right? It didn't work. You didn't change. So you've tried the, I'm just going to isolate the A component of this circle and try and change the action. You can't do that, right? Your spirit is creating thoughts. Those thoughts are basically creating th feelings through your endocrine system, endocrine system, however you pronounce that. It's creating chemicals, chemicals and hormones in your body. And those chemicals are creating a reaction. It's a stimulus response, okay? They're creating a reaction that at the point the chemical is in your bloodstream, you have no responsibility or control over it, right? If someone injects you with adrenaline, dude, you're gonna freak out. You can't control it and be like, hey, I'm not gonna have an adrenaline surge. You just got injected with an adrenaline. So when it's in your bloodstream, it's too late for you to try and block it, okay? It's already there. So you're gonna then do the action. You're gonna look at it. Your response to the action is gonna be stimulus response this happened, I didn't like it, I'm gonna react, and you justify it, and then you go right back to the same line of thinking, right? So you have to take a stand, and this is where the bumper stickers come in, right? So this was me, like two years ago, I looked at it and said, I'm taking a stand, okay? I bought the wristband, success is my duty, okay? That was my stance to say that I'm responsible for my success, I control it, I cause it. It's not basketball, it's not I hope it goes in the hoop, it's if it didn't go in the hoop, I caused that. If it did go in the hoop, I caused that right? If I threw the ball in the air and someone stole it, I caused that, okay? Now, the obsessed thing I also got, that was the other bumper sticker I bought, right? The obsessed thing means that I am obsessed with my life, okay? I don't need to unplug. I don't have different categories. I have a life, okay? And I am fully consumed by it, 100%, because me owning my potential 
is glorifying to the God I worship. It helps the people that I care about and it helps me expand and better myself. So why wouldn't I be obsessed with that? Like, why wouldn't I spend every ounce of energy in me improving that life and be obsessed with it, right? So I got the bumper stickers and that was me saying, I'm changing my state of being. I'm gonna think differently. I'm gonna be a different person. I started dressing differently. Differently. I stopped doing things that I used to do that, you know, formulated my identity. Do you know I used to cut my own hair, right? To save 15 bucks, I would sit in the, in the, in the bathroom for an hour and I would cut my own hair, okay? That tells you how much my time was worth, less than $15, right? So I stopped doing those things so that I could be different. Now, when I did that, I also had to do, I had to, I had to put in the difference of effort and action, right? The good news, and I talked about this already, you're already doing stuff, right? If you're overweight, you did stuff to get there. If you're broke, you did stuff to get there. If you're divorced, you did stuff to get there. If you're not happy with yourself, you did stuff to get there. If you have you know, broken friendships, you did stuff to get there. You caused it. I caused it for me, right? And so when I look at the do component, that's actually the most en encouraging part. I'm already putting in the effort, right? I'm squeezing this hand. All I gotta do is stop and squeeze this one. Either way, I'm squeezing a hand, right? It takes effort, it takes energy. Right, And so if you're on the stage where you say, I'm putting my flag in the ground and I'm gonna change, good, you're already expending effort, keep expending it, just expend it on something else, okay? And that's for me, that's, you know, I started doing different things. I woke up on time, right? Um, I remember probably four years ago, I used to wake up at like nine or 10 every day when I first started my business and that's one of the reasons I was broke and I would laugh and tell Lexi, I'm never gonna be one of those old farts that gets up at five in the morning. Guess what time I wake up every morning? Okay, so I started doing different things. I started getting up early. I started studying. I started growing spiritually. I started going to the gym every morning. I started eating right again. I started making cold calls. I started trying to get business. I started growing everything I could in my life and expanding, and I was obsessed with it. Okay, that bumper sticker back there. That's why I bought those. That was my flag in the ground. That was the B. The do was changing the actions. Now, if you're looking at your finances, like, and here's how you know if you need help. Did you get excited when you got your PFD? Okay, there's a, a yes box and a no box. If you checked yes, you are not financially healthy. It was $1,000, it's gonna be gone like that. If it changed your life that much, you have a problem and we can fix it, okay? If you got excited over $1,000, that's not a good financial state to hang out in, okay? That's where you're at, confront it and let's fix it. So if you're trying to fix it, then we have to change what you're doing. Okay, so I took action for two years. I was just boom, right? Same thing every single day, right? I make my calls, I do my studying, I do my growing, I go to the gym every single day. It did not change, there's no variation, okay? It was just robotic, because I knew that that's what I had to do. I had to reverse, think about it. I'm 25, right? So four years ago, I was 21. So at 21, I had 21 years worth of thinking, doing, being, all compounded on top of each other, and then one year I decide I'm gonna change that, okay? You're not gonna make a New Year's resolution. You have to undo, for me, it was undoing 23 years worth of effort, counter effort, thinking, actions, all of those things, and you're gonna have to go through that same cycle, and that's why you have to be obsessed. You're gonna have to put the action in, okay? And so finally, you get to the have component, right? And I said this last week. When we're looking at someone's results, right? So we have the results right here. I know that that doesn't look like an R. This is results, right? We have the results. So we look at other people's results. We look at somebody that has what we want. Let's say um, they're, in, they're in shape, right? We see them on Instagram and they have a six pack and we wish we had that. Or we know that they're financially affluent and we wish we had that, okay? That's the results. And what that really is, is we're comparing them to us. We're saying, this is the ideal scene. This is where I'm at. I wanna be here. Our first response, actually and honestly, is usually to attack that person. Mentally, we start justifying, oh, money's not everything. Oh, you know, no one has time for Instagram. I can't go to the gym. You know, that person probably spends two hours a day at the gym, right? We start justifying our position at their expense. They become the target, okay? Knock that crap off. That's the, that's the stuff we have to change, okay? If you're going to have those results, if you're gonna have the results that they're gonna have, you have to realize it's not an effort thing. They didn't work harder than you, they worked different than you, okay? The reason they worked different than you is because they had different feelings, 
The reason they have different feelings is because they have different chemicals in their bloodstream. The reason they have different chemicals in their bloodstream is because they have different thoughts. The reason they have different thoughts is because their spiritual condition is different than yours. Okay? And that's the truth of the matter. So for me being, I said, hey, I don't like what I have. I'm going to be someone different. I got the wristband. I then got the bumper sticker. I did not put it on my vehicle. I started doing all of the things that this wristband, that bumper sticker stood for. Okay? Success is my duty. I'm going to go cause it to happen. I'm going to be obsessed because that's what it's going to take. And finally, you get to the have component. Okay? So this is called bumper stickers and BMWs because, uh, what was it, in June, I got a BMW, okay? It was a gift from someone that we do business with. It was awesome. It was something I worked hard for, and I put the bumper sticker on the BMW, okay? So now on the back of my BMW, I have one bumper sticker that says, success is my duty. I have another bumper sticker that says, obsessed, okay? And that is reinforcing this component of be, do, have, right? I watched a Tony Robbins documentary, and I don't love Tony Robbins. I don't think you need to walk on fire to get stuff done. I mean, if you do, go to his event, go for the you know walking on fire. I didn't. I probably never will walk on fire. I just don't desire to do that. But one thing that I really learned from that that stood out to me is when Tony Robbins was talking at this on the Netflix documentary, he said, I invented this mother effer. He was talking about him. I invented this guy. Okay, So he planned it. And so the BMW thing the have, I planned it. Okay, three years ago I said, I want this. I gotta be something different, I gotta do something different so I can have something different. Okay, so this was my stance. This was my flag in the ground and then I took the action. The action then converted into results. Those results, I then look at them and I can justify the good results just like I justified the bad results. Okay, are you guys realizing it's the same formula? It's just different things you're putting into it, right? So. You're going to think thoughts. I think thoughts now, right? My thoughts now are different than my thoughts were three years ago, right? You're going to have basically a chemical response from those thoughts. I have one now. I had chemical response three years ago. My chemicals in my bloodstream are different than they were three years ago, okay? Those are going to create actions. I take action now. I took action three years ago. My actions today are significantly different than the actions three years ago. They're not harder. It does not take more work or effort. I was exhausted at the end of the day three years ago. I just had nothing to show for it, okay? And those actions are going to produce results now. I had results then. I have results now. I like my results today a hell of a lot better than I liked them three years ago. And I justify my results today just like I did three years ago. I look at it and I say, hey, that's a nice BMW. It it heats my butt up at 7 in the morning when I go to the gym. I like that. What I'm doing must be good and I reinforce it, okay? Just like three years ago, hey, I'm not going to wake up at five in the morning because that's for old farts and I'm not one of those. So I'm going to justify my results by targeting the people that are doing what I should be doing and making them wrong. Okay. It's the same cycle guys. And I want to nail this home. Okay. Beamers and bumper stickers is my story of the be, do and have cycle, right? Of the spiritual being thinking thoughts that elicit chemicals that give you feelings that cause actions that produce results that justify who you are okay that's my story of the bumper sticker to the bmw was that whole process okay it took three years and i want to encourage you you're going to already be doing something for three years it might as well be building a life by design okay In three years, you will be somewhere. You will be doing something. At the end of the day, you will come home from work and you will be exhausted. I want you to have something to show for it, okay? So if you're watching this and you're getting pumped, first I want you to share it because you know that people need to hear this message. I had to literally look day and night for three years to find this information. There's so much just convoluted BS out there. You know, everyone has an opinion on the subject. I'm telling you, this, this is what works. What I've just told you is what works. I'm the proof, okay? I grew up in Big Lake, Alaska. My parents are divorced. I did not go to college. I went to Houston High School. There were 60 kids in my graduating class. Statistically, I should not be where I am in life. Okay, that's proof that this works. So I want you to take this. If you need to rewatch this, go for it. If you need to share this, please do so because you know there's someone in your life that needs this. But most of all, if you're getting pumped as you're listening to this, it means two things. You need to be a client of mine and we need to be doing business together. Okay, if you want to become a client of mine, here's how it works. Okay, I'm a wealth coach. 
I'm not going to advise you. I'm not going to give you my opinion. I'm going to help you find your own opinion, and then I'm going to help you build out your own plan, and then I'm going to help you hold your hold yourself accountable to the plan. Okay? I'm not your parent or babysitter. I'm going to help you figure out where you want to go and make sure you're getting there, right? So, if you're an individual or family and we sit down, this is what we're going to do. We're going to look at where you are now. We're going to look at where you want to be. We're going to identify a couple of things. First thing is responsibility. Okay, I'm going to ask you to take responsibility for your results. I'm going to ask you to take responsibility for why you don't have what you want to have. Okay, That's the hard part. You're going to confront it. We're going to look at the obstacle, which is the things that are preventing you from getting there, and I'm going to have you take responsibility for those as well. Okay, No more blaming the economy. No more blaming the stock market. No more blaming your boss. If you don't like him, quit. No more blaming your family members. When they ask you for money, say no. Right? I'm going to ask you to take responsibility for those. That's the tough part. Okay? Once you've done that, we're going to build out an action plan. Okay? That action plan is going to allow us to get you from point A to point B. And once we have gotten you from point A to point B, what I'm going to be able to do, the results, the reason why you want to work with me is in the first two meetings, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reduce your life insurance, your health insurance, and your investment costs by 73%. I'm going to guarantee an increase in your savings rate. And then I'm going to help you secure an 8 to 10% fixed annual return on your investments, backed by real estate. No Wall Street casino involved. No stupid fees involved. No excuses. It's just going to be results. Okay? If you're a business, okay, and I would argue that if you're a person, you're still a business. Okay? But you know what I mean? If you own a company that has employees and we sit down, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to waste your time. In 15 minutes, we're going to know if this is a good decision or not. I'm going to, I'm going to prove to you that I can lower your group health insurance cost by 50%. Okay? I just did it for someone 30 minutes ago. Right? I'm going to drop your, your employee cost and you know, premium per employee down to $250 a month. And then on top of that, I'm going to sit down and do one-on-one wealth coaching with every single person in your company for two reasons. And two reasons only. I want them to be wealthy and you want them to stay. Okay, if they're wealthy, they will stay. If they link, when I work for Jerry, I build wealth, they're going to stay there. Okay, so my job is to work for you to help them build wealth so that you increase productivity because if they're paying their bills and they're putting money away, they're actually going to work harder when they come to work. Okay, so your productivity will go up. On top of that, your turnover is going to go down. Okay, people will stick around longer because you're an integral part of their life. So that's what I'm going to do for you. Go to my website right now. It's going to be wealthxpro.com wealthxpro.com the other thing i'm going to do is i have a program that's on sale today all of you alaskans you just got your pfd right eleven hundred dollars i just posted a link to a program it's called playbook to millions and it's going to show you how to take that thousand dollars you got and i don't even need the thousand you're only going to spend 500 on this okay this is the most money you probably ever spent on your own development you're going to buck up and spend 500 dollars, and it's going to help you become a millionaire in the next 10 years and i'm going to be part of that plan okay you do not need more guns you don't need another four-wheeler your kids you know they're worry about college when when they're there i mean they're in your house they're going to turn 18 and leave if you're broke you're not going to be able to help them okay so this needs to go to your education so i just posted the link check it out it's called playbook to millions there is tons of data. It's going to take you months to get through. I'm going to be your coach. I'm going to help you knock it out. We're going to get a plan put together. Like I said, if you're and if you're motivated at all, go to wealthxpro.com. Okay, wealthxpro.com. Click the link here. Um, Lexi, can you post our web link in the comments real quick? Thanks, hon. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. If you're watching this and you like it, please share it and then contact me, wealthxpro.com. Okay? You can also email me at jerry at wealthxpro.com. If you didn't like this, don't be secret about it, man. Let's talk about it. Put something in the comments. Hey, I didn't agree with that. I didn't like that. This wasn't for me. I'm going to talk to you about it. But if you just sit there and bottle it up, A, you're invalidating yourself. Okay, If you don't like it, get it out there. That way, at least you're confident in your own belief. If you're not talking about it, it means that you're shaky on what you're thinking. Okay, B, we still should communicate. right? Here's our link, wealthxpro.com fantastic website. I also need to give a couple of shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Robert Cicillo. 
Robert helped us. If, you, if you're looking at our website right now and you're like, man, this is beautiful, Robert helped us with this whole thing. Okay, he's helping us with our marketing, our branding. If you want to do branding, you need to go check out Robert. He's going to help you out. Um, I also want to give a shout out to um, Cliff Goffner, who I just met with. Um, Cliff is doing some big things in Alaska. I'm having cigars with him tonight. Check him out. He owns Bonanza Realty. They are an HOA association. Um, they're going to basically help your HOA be run more professionally to where you, if you live in an HOA in Alaska, you actually get listened to. Okay. They're actually going to do stuff for you. You're not just going to pay the fee and then have them avoid work, right? So I'm going to sign off because you know I could talk all day. I would love to do that, but instead, let's set up a meeting. Let's get together and we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. Hit the link up, wealthxpro.com. Thank you for watching. Please share. Please subscribe to my stuff. Check me out on Instagram, at Jerry Feta. I have a YouTube channel as well. I'm all over social media. You guys know this. Have a great Friday.